Good morning, students. Welcome to fourth session of fifth chapter, that is forms of business organization one. In today's session, we will discuss advantages and limitations of partnership form. So let us start with advantages of partnership. First advantage. that is easy and less expensive process of establishment the process of establishing a partnership firm is quite easy and cheap one also need not pass through lengthy and complex legal procedures in fact as per the partnership act one can even run a partnership without registering it however it is always advisable to register partnership form second advantage that is efficient management unlike sole proprietorship the partnership form gets benefits of the knowledge intelligence skill and experience of many partners as the management is in the hands of partners so they take personal interest and care in the management as there is a direct control of partners over employees the firm is managed efficiently next that is increase in goodwill or credit worthiness in partnership firm all the partners have unlimited liability to pay off business debts this creates a positive impact on creditors mind they do not hesitate to sell goods on credit or lend money knowing that if one of the partner fails to pay back the other will have to pay any how this increases the goodwill or credit of the firm in comparison to sole proprietorship firm fourth advantage that is more capital a partnership consists of more than one owner and so more capital can be raised collectively moreover when the business expands and one needs more capital then it can be done by adding a new partner also so this way capital can be collected more in partnership form in comparison to sole proprietorship form fifth advantage that is advantage of division of labor advantages can be derived from the different skills and abilities of the partners of a firm by allotting the work to partners according to their abilities and experience the advantage of division of labor can be obtained sixth advantage that is proper decisions at the time of taking an important decision the partners gather and discuss it thoroughly they share their experience knowledge and opinions with respect to the decision when everyone agrees and come to a common conclusion a decision is made thus in partnership form there are quite less chances of wrong decisions seventh advantage that is flexibility a partnership firm is formed by the voluntary agreement of each partner so it is easy to make changes in the business as per the situation for example as per the changing market environment the partners can change their products or processes after thoughtful discussions among themselves 
Eighth advantage that is protection of the interest of minority. Generally, in a partnership firm, all the works are done with mutual consent of all the partners. So, even if one partner disagrees, the firm may not be able to execute a desired work or a decision. Moreover, a partner who does not wish to continue with the firm can ask for dissolving the partnership. In these senses, we can say that in a partnership firm, the interests of minority also get protection and are taken care of. Ninth advantage that is direct relation with customers. Just like sole proprietorship firm, the partners of the partnership firm remains in contact with their customers, employees, creditors, etc. Hence, they can take good care of their needs and expectations. Tenth advantage that is decentralization of economic power. In a partnership firm, the power to control the funds of the company lies with all the partners. This helps to mobilize the funds better and to stop a partner from making wrong monetary decisions. This safeguards the firm against financial crisis. Last advantage that is less burden of income tax. The profit of the firm gets divided among the partners as decided in the deed. So, the income tax liability also gets divided among partners and they are less burdened. Next topic that is limitations of partnership. First limitation that is limited capital. Considering the growth and development of today's world and the large scale modern industries and trade, the capacity of the partners to raise the capital is limited. It's difficult for a partnership firm to engage in expanding the business on a large scale, investing in research and development, etc. Second limitation, that is unlimited liability. All the partners need to work honestly and efficiently. If a partner does not work properly and the business incurs loss, then every partner becomes responsible for paying the debt collectively. Since the partners have unlimited liability, the partners may have to sell their personal assets to repay business debts in case the assets of the firm cannot repay. So, like sole proprietorship firm, partnership firm also has got unlimited liability. Third limitation, that is possibility of disagreement. A partnership firm can run successfully and grow well only if all the partners work and think unitedly. If disagreements and disputes arises among the partners, they may affect the firm too. Fourth limitation that is difficulty in maintaining secrets. In partnership firm, important business decisions are taken through discussion and meetings among partners. All the business aspects are discussed in such meetings and so all the partners know all the secrets of the business. As compared with sole proprietorship, 
मोर देन वन पर्सन नोज द बिजनेस सीक्रेट विच इन अ वे कैन प्रूव डेंजरस इफ एनी पार्टनर लीक्स देम आउट इट मे बी हार्मफुल फॉर द बिजनेस नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज डिफिकल्टी इन शेयर ट्रांसफर इन पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म अ पार्टनर कैन नॉट ट्रांसफर हिज शेयर to other person easily share transfer to another person require the consent of all partners next that is delay in decision making as per the partnership act each partner can be a part of management and decision making if there are disputes or disagreements between the partners the decision making may become poor and delayed this can then result into weaker management sometimes disputes differences in opinions and decisions between partners increase so much that the partnership form gets dissolved seventh limitation that is short life span if any of the partner dies becomes mentally unstable or insolvent the partnership comes to an end so like sole proprietorship form partnership forms life also is too short so these are the seven limitations of partnership form this is an end of this session see you in next session thank you